time to welcome each of you to our Rockfish Community Meeting tonight. And before we go into our meeting, let's stand and give the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's open with a prayer. Father, we thank you for this time tonight that you've let us gather. Father, the things that we discuss for our community, let things be done that will make things better. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you for each one that's here. We thank you for the ones that are not here. Mm -hmm. And dear Lord, we thank you for the ones that are watching on Facebook. Now, Father, as we go into this time, let us do what you have us to do the right thing. And all these things we ask you in your name. Amen. I thank our... Uh, uh, financial statement will speak for itself or money. I think we have $256 in our account and that, that's a whole lot of money. And that comes from people being generous and giving us donations. Uh, we don't have the minutes from the last meeting but we did have a guest from the Hope County Board of Education and I think that was probably very instrumental to the people that were here the people that watched it live on Facebook. Next month, we'll have a different group from the Hope County Board of Education that will be coming. And our next meeting next month in, in June will be June the 20th at 7 o'clock. Our meetings are every third Tuesday night of the month. That will be June the 20th at 7 o'clock. And we'll have a special guest at that time. So we'll go into the uh, business for tonight, which we don't have a lot. But an update on our current project, uh, DOT, right down at the end of Lindsay and Rockfish, they're in the process of finding uh, pole sites for the signals, and the money's already been appropriated. It's just a matter of time of DOT doing what they need to do to make sure things is right. So we will have uh, a traffic light down at the end of Lindsay and Rockfish. That's going to be at Lindsay and Rockfish in DOT is working on that. Uh, there's some other spots that uh, they're looking at. Uh, currently up on at the end of Pippin Grove Church Road in 401, they're looking at doing something there and possibly down at King Road and Rockfish Road. I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but there's there's been a lot of accidents down there the past couple of weeks and past couple of months. So they're taking in consideration that they've already been notified that we've got some very troubled spots down there. One thing that continues to go is uh, local break-ins, uh, vandalism in the community. We still have quite a bit of traffic that's being cut off and coming through the area over here behind the community house. DOT is very much aware of that and they're uh, going to be doing some things over there to kind of ease that up a little bit. Does anybody up here on the board have anything they'd like to add? I'd like to say they uh, noticed some orange bags on the side of the road, so that's a good sign that they're starting to, uh, I guess the prisoners are starting to get out and clean the side of the road. So. Well, I did notice the other so. day there was some folks on Rockfish Road from yeah. Coombs Road to Rockfish that was picking up trash. Mm -hmm. And we've done that as a volunteer yes. board. Yeah. And that's that's a good thing, trying to keep mm -hmm. our community done. Yeah. And I do want to give some praise to the Hope County Department of Transportation. Uh, Coons Road has been uh, known for a dumping spot of furniture, mattresses, heavy stuff. And every time I come down that road, there's something heavy, and I always call the office in Rayford. And uh, they always respond in picking up that big trash. And that makes things good. And I think uh, that they need to have a uh, hand back on the back of their shoulder, let them know we appreciate them doing that. One other thing uh, in the line of business, the sewer is coming down Coons Road and uh, once it gets to Coons Road it's going to turn right and it's coming down below the school, Rockfish Hoke Elementary School, uh, and then it's coming on into Rockfish. Uh, they're beginning to, they've already cleared all the Monroe Farm off, they're going to begin with a possibly 150. 250 houses there and then on the back side of Philippi Church Road they're going to put another hundred maybe more over there 
So our community is really growing. Houses are coming everywhere. People are coming from all over the parts of the world to move in the rockfish community. Lands for sale. People are selling their land, but they're not making no more land. So before you know it, the next couple of years, we're going to have houses everywhere. So uh, I just don't know exactly what the future, the future holds some good things for the community of rockfish. So, but sewer's coming, and that's one good thing that, that's going to go to our advantage because we hope to attract some new businesses that's going to come down in our community. I understand there's been a couple uh, businesses uh, inquired about a couple plots of land that's right in the immediate area of Rockfish. Uh, we do have 11 acres that's for sale right over on, uh, right beside the church cemetery. And I understand there's a couple of prospects that's negotiating or wanting to talk about that. To what they want to do with it, I don't know. Possibly put houses there. <laughs> so that'll mean more people coming in our community. So there's no telling what's going to come. But I do know that the rockfish community is growing leaps and bounds. Uh, does anybody up here have anything they'd like to add before we go into what we don't want to talk about tonight? Carlos, you have anything? Well, my thing is, and, and I, I wish you could take the camera, and you could turn it around in here. And I think it's, is an embarrassment for our community that we don't have, we can't get 20 people to show up. Believe it or not, this board has done a lot and is doing a lot. A lot of people take it for granted. These traffic lights, this sewer that's coming this way, all the things, the sheriff annex, all of this stuff that's going on is because this board has been working. And for people to say it's not working, if it wasn't for this board, you wouldn't have a traffic light right here. You wouldn't have a traffic light coming. You wouldn't have a lot of the stuff that you have now. All I ask is everybody, take pride in Rockfish because Y'all, you won't come complaining when it's too late. If we can show a strong force of people up here, people are gonna take us real serious. But if our hall continue to look like this, they're not gonna take us serious. But we're gonna keep, I, Larry, I'm gonna tell you something. And just, just get off the subject. Larry works his butt off. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to give Larry praise up here. I, I know he don't, might not want it, but he works his butt off. And if what for him, Mr. Brock, hey, what would we be? And I, like I said, I want to give Larry his praise while he's up here. I know he, like, I don't need it, but he deserves it. This man works his butt off every day. Don't get paid. That's and enough. don't get paid. And he has a job. He's still working. Part time. Part time job. But before he became part time, he was working job. And this man, I'm telling you, works his butt off. And if he can do it, the community needs to get up one day out of every three weeks and come up here for a few, for a little bit. Tell us what's your concerns, what what you need, what you want. And we'll see what we can do. But we cannot do anything if y'all don't tell us. I can hear, you can hear the complaining around the community, but come, have a little fun, meet your neighbors, get to know your neighbors. That's what this is about. So, like I said, that's all I got. And like I said, I appreciate Larry for doing what he's doing. And Larry, keep up the good work. Thank you. Sandy? We just need you, need your input on things so we can help Make the community better. better. Well, I think, I, I, Carlos, I appreciate those accolades very much. But, you know, it's a total, it's a total team effort. Mm -hmm. It's not about what I do or nobody else does. We all do it together. Mm -hmm. I might do it, but the board is behind me in what I'm doing. And that's what counts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've done a lot of things. The traffic lights, we've been very instrumental in, in going with our 
our government officials from the from the county to the state, and, and, and they've recognized the need because we have come to them. That's right. How can somebody recognize a need if you don't tell them what you need? That's right. And they have seen it firsthand. I've had politicians sit in the parking lot out here at Brandon's mm -hmm. and watch the traffic. What, and they say, what in, what in the world is going on? Where have they been? <laughs> and they've seen it firsthand. Right. And, you know, I just appreciate all the, the board members that volunteer. There's things they've done, things I've done, but it's a total team effort. It's like the community house up there. We went through and I took the county commissioners up there and showed the community house. It was outdated. It needed painting. It was dirty. What did they do? They fixed it. And it looks good. They had no sign up there. I told them, I said, we need to uh, recognize our community house. They put a sign up there. So, you know, that's all that counts is making the community better. It's not about what I do. It's all about the rock community of Rockfish. Because I've been here since I was a child. Sandy's been here. We know. We know what the community was. Yeah. Somebody told me the other day, or has always told me, they said, well, I don't want to see no changes. Changes? Oh. Where have you been? Changes my soul. You know, I sit on my front porch at the house, and it's like being on I-95. Okay. And I'm telling you, those cars run. But I got to give hands down to our sheriff's department, uh, Sheriff Virgil. I called him and talked to him, and I don't care who knows it. I called him and talked to him and told him. I said, that road by my house, Sheriff, is like I-95. He said, that's all I need to know. <laughs> And they've got some unmarked cars that will flat pull you. You don't know who they are. That's right. Doing a super job. He's patrolling the area. Not only does his deputies patrol the area, but the sheriff himself is active in this county. And I'm, I'm proud to say that he's my sheriff. But enough of that, and I thank you all for all that. But yes, a total team effort. And I'm just happy to know that we've made progress, and the progress is going to be good. Next month, we got some folks coming from the Board of Education again that's going to be here. Ms. McAllister will be back. But something that I want to talk about for the month of July, we have not talked about it in four years. That's incorporation. Been in contact with people in Raleigh. Uh, we started this about four years ago and everything was just put on the back burner. But now that sewer is coming, and sewer is coming this way, they're building houses on top of one another. You don't know what's going to be beside you. You don't know if you're going to have to add guns to your collection. But now is the time that the community of Rockfish, and I'm, I'm asking everybody that's watching on Facebook, please, Please come to our July meeting because we're going to have some, hopefully have a representative from the state attorney's office here. And we're going to be, have a petition in the process of getting all that paperwork together now that people can sign. But one thing I'd like to share with the people tonight that's listening, the pros of being an incorporation is you're self-governed. You're protected against another annexation. You're better to be governed locally than far away. It allows for a unified voice dealing with the state, feds, the county, and other municipalities. I feel like that we have a very strong relationship with the Hope County Commissioners. I feel like we have a very strong relationship with the representatives from the representative to the senators that represent our area. Money stays local. Solicit money not normally available. Grants. Endures better future directed by local. Control your type of growth. Clear progression dates of services. Develop, maintain local buildings, infrastructures, and parks. We already have a nice community building. Already got a nice park. And by the way, Hope County is, Hope County Board of Commissioners have a bunch of new things that they're going to be putting in the, in the park up there and have a voice in the tax dollar usage help maintain history what history people say what history folks that's just moved here families that's been here all their life the wood family 
grew up in this neck of the woods. All this was wood territory. My family's been here since 1949, probably sometime before that. My mother's family. We'll be we have opportunities for grants, area beautification. If you ride through Rockfish now that our corner lot down there is clear at nighttime, watch those flags go blow and the lights on that sign. That's beautiful. Help maintain good property values, maintain and conduct actual code enforcement. Be good stewards of the community. Control and manage growth. Protect against urban sprawl and unrestricted growth. It's got more positive than it has negative is when you become incorporated. And I know a lot of people don't want to talk about it. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it. But this is something that we put off for almost four years. And I'm telling everybody out there on Facebook now, I hope this place will be flooded in the July meeting because that's when we're going to have somebody from Raleigh here to talk to us about the incorporation process, how we've got to go about it, we'll have the petition available, and we'll see where we go from there. And, so. and even if you oppose it or, you know, you're against it, you still need to come and voice your opinion. That's right. And let and let the people in Raleigh know, let, let, us, how you, let us know how you feel. It's the only way we're going to get anything done. If, if you're opposed, I've always been taught if you're opposed yeah. to something, yeah. voice your opinion, yeah. but you're still going to be given the respect exactly. that you do to have. But this is something that I feel like that we're going to have to do. We've got the blessings of Hope County. We've got the blessings of uh, uh, Hope Mills. Hopefully, come come the county or the city of Fayetteville, because we're so close by, we're going to get their blessings. But I feel like this is something that we've got to undertake, and it's you're taking a big step when you step out to become an incorporation. So I just hope folks will hope and hope they'll hope, uh, pray about it and be here in the July meeting because I'll know next week if uh, when the attorney's office is going to come and I'll get with Mr. Brian Martin and he'll post it on our web page or the Facebook page and he'll create an event. But I encourage everybody in the Rockfish community to spread the word because the incorporation talk is coming back again. So. That's basically all I've got to say tonight. Uh, I feel like that uh, we'll probably uh, we'll have a house full. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody got something they want to say? Brian, you got anything? Got anything, Brian? I, I did want to just sort of put a, put some feelers out about um, possibly doing some type of job fair at some point. I want yes. to see how much interest there is. Oh, okay. If there's any businesses that would would be interested in put together something like that. Maybe we could do that on like a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday would be would be preferable because people can work, work here. Okay. Yeah, and we could come um, right in here and let them have a booth set up and they could show yeah. what they have to offer. Anybody um, looking for a job? Ideally, I'd, I'd like to see about 20 businesses if we could get to that many. I know we, we probably don't have a lot in the area, but preferably businesses that are hiring in the whole county area. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put together a flyer or something and put some feelers out see how much interest there is. Why don't is. you do that and, po and post it on yeah. Facebook? Uh, but at this point, I, I don't know if this room is big enough for that sort of thing. But, you know, we, at this, we just got to get to see if, there, if there's any interest right now. Okay, so, good. I think that'd be uh, ideal for the community. You know, we can reach out to people yeah. down, say down at uh, the Chicken Plant in uh, mm -hmm. uh, Lumber Bridge and yeah. one in Smithfield. And I'd like to see if the, or Tar sheriff, Hill. the sheriff or the police department would Yeah, and have the sheriff to come. To oh, yeah. I'm sure there's businesses here that are, that are looking yeah. to hire people. And I'm sure there's people that need jobs. So I yeah. think it'd be something we could put together. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. It is. Yeah. See if you can get ready So anybody have anything else? I do want to thank the folks that's online. I know we got some folks watching. Oh. And I thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you'll be here next month. We have a special guest. But I challenge everybody to be here at our July meeting because that's when we're going to begin to talk about the incorporation. Do I hear anything else from the board that would like to say anything? Do I hear a motion to make we adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Good night.